everyone, welcome to another episode of Wedding Wednesdays here on my channel. Yes, it might not be actually Wednesday in real life, but today we're doing a wedding related excursion. So I decided that we're going to do a wedding uh, Wednesday today. Uh, today we are heading to look at a shower venue. So this is going to probably be a pretty quick little vlog of the venue itself. I before I created this series have been doing much wedding planning and going to look at different places so I will leave the playlist listed down below of all of my other wedding related videos that happened before wedding Wednesday was a thing. It's a shower, bridal shower venue, going to look at it, it's on a lake, should be pretty, probably going to be cold and windy because it's always colder by the water and yeah, we'll check it out, I'll bring you along, show you what it looks like and yeah what all look at the sky over there it's gloom it's like a weird day very windy it's like all right let's go Yeah. I don't like my indoor track coach. No. But I love my outdoor one. Oh, okay. my indoor one. <laughs> Great <laughs> story. So this is for the shower. We got the lake out there. Although it will be a sun, sunny day. A sunny, hopefully, <clears throat> day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Eat it. <laughs> Wait till it goes up your nose. No, I'm going It takes a minute. Are we gonna have any room for coffee or dessert? Hi everyone. Hi everyone. So I'm back home now, and I know I didn't really show as much as I probably would have liked to of the bridal shower venue, but it's an older place, and. My mom had a really hard time finding a good menu that we like really liked. So that's why we ended up going where we went because the food's really good. And it's a huge, huge room, which is another thing we were having a hard time finding around here is a venue large enough to fit the amount of people we're inviting to the wedding shower. So that was another reason why we had to look where we looked. The view is going to be spectacular in the summertime when I actually have my wedding shower. So. I just wanted to throw in a couple tips and tricks about going to venues and like questions to ask and things to look for and like that, that you should notice and be prepared for when you get there. Definitely have your number in mind. Um, sometimes what they tell you over the phone is different. Once you get there, it's like not the same size or big enough to hold as many people as you want to invite to your wedding or your event. I made... <coughs> I made a mistake with booking my venue. I did not have a definitive guest list for my reception is what I'm speaking to. I did not have a definitive guest list when I booked my venue and it ended up being a lot smaller than what I wouldn't want, like the number that I would want. I feel like for my family and friends and everything, minimally we got it down to 180. And realistically, the place only holds 160. And if we wanted to actually invite everyone we wanted to invite, we would have had almost 250 guests. So I did not do my research. I did not prepare to go to the venue with a number in mind. And that is like my number one tip. And I feel like it might be an obvious one. But for me, I didn't think about that. We didn't have that set in stone yet. When I went to look at wedding receptions, I'll leave the vlog listed in the cards of when we went to our wedding reception venue. I love the venue and it's a beautiful and there's plenty of space but just seating wise they can only do 160. So that's besides the point that was about the reception. So going into any other parts of, like other events that you're going to have for your wedding like your shower, your 
um, your shower, your rehearsal dinner, and your, is that it? Shower and your rehearsal dinner. Yeah, I guess that's it. And maybe even your engagement party. You just want to definitely have a set and so number before you even look into venues. Give the venues your number. They're going to want a final number later down the road, especially if you're planning like really far in advance like I have been for most of my wedding planning. Um, they, they definitely need more details closer to the date, but as much as you can give them when you're looking, the better. So I have that in mind. And then if you really like a venue, make be ready to book it. Bring a checkbook. Have enough money when you're looking at venues to go ahead with booking it because things fill up really quick, especially in the months that my wedding is being held summertime reception or summertime bridal shower bachelorette party stuff like that they book up really fast for fall weddings since i'm getting married in like such a prime time it's it's all the dates surrounding my wedding are booked for many different vendors and um establishment so just definitely have those things ready so i recommend having your guest list finalized or close to finalized having money and making sure it's something that you want like we were willing to compromise like the aesthetic of the place for the shower for food because there was a beautiful place that i wanted to have my wedding my sh my wedding shower but the menu wouldn't have been pleasing to as many of the ladies. And we're still going to have like drinks and decorations. I'm having a Lily Pulitzer theme for my shower. So I'm really excited about that. And then we're going to have fun games and like other things going on. So I'm excited for all that and all the other little surprises that they have in store. So yeah, that's going to do it for this week's Wedding Wednesday video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful if you're planning a wedding. I'm sorry I look like a lumberjack right now and my hair is a frizzy mess. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and make sure to subscribe to my channel for more Wedding Wednesday videos. And I'll see you all on another time. Bye, everyone. We're big enough and all of that kind of stuff. So it's awesome that you can put in the city that you're looking to get married and they will help you find a venue that you've been dreaming about.